and I'm back. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm welcoming back myself. It has been a week since I've poured paint. Um, uh, work was just really busy, and I went to Utah and back, and um, you know, just life sometimes. But I did. I was very happy. I had some videos. I was on, uh, I was trying my geode inspired pours, so I have quite a few of those. I think you've seen two of my green ones, a blue one. I redid the blue one. I have a purple one coming up and a couple of colored ones, but um, I have some other content, so trying to grab some other content so that you're not um, overloaded with geodes. I had to restart my. <sighs> video because I forgot my balloon but I've got it now so let me just kind of set this little thing up again uh, anyway I, I've been thinking about my spin the bottle reverse balloon swipe and I wanted to try it again because I thought that the original time I did this that I put this down on the canvas and it would automatically spin and it didn't you actually need to you know do the spinning yourself but I've got this tonight to hopefully help me a little bit so I have a 12 by 12 canvas that has been prepped with push pins and tape and um, I have my toothbrush holder with the separated sides I'm going to use again and um, I just did a little bit of the OGX coconut milk in it to help release my paint and sometimes I get some fun cells out of it, so just get started. I was, um, the colors I'm using tonight are Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta, Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta, Deco Art Quinacridone Magenta, and they're like different shades. Craft Smart Mix with uh, Princess Purple with Artist Loft Violet um, and Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. Homemade Modern, it's the Target Brand Eggplant. My mix, I did a Liquitex Ultramarine Blue with Deco Art Cerulean Blue and then the Deco Art Ice Blue Metallic. I'm using my Art Minds Mysterious Blue that I love. I'm using the Art Minds Frosted Bubbly. I'm using my little Light Turquoise Mix, which is the Art Minds Splash, Met Splash Metallic and Craft Smart Deep Turquoise. And then a little bit of the Liquitex Titanium White with Iridescent Medium and Art Minds Moonbeam. I used a couple of those other colors. The Moonbeam you'll see in the purple geode. All right, so let's just get started. I'm going to do it again where two of the colors are the same on this side and then two different ones on that one. And let me just make sure. Hmm. You can see that pretty good. Look, I'm going to go, woo. This is really just to help it keep focused found this cute little green awesome little <laughs> so let's see so I'm starting with the artist loft a brilliant magenta and I'm not going to blame you guys I'm gonna stay away from the sides on this one <laughs> and on the other ones I'm starting with the craft smart princess purple mix that I mentioned oops Try not to let it mix too much. Too late. I see it mixed on the bottom. Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. Yuck. Yucky, yucky. I found uh, my bottles. I, if I'm not painting, I really had to do a lot of pre-opening unclogging tops and everything so uh, the weather's just been really weird here in California it's been hot and then got kind of muggy and now it's been raining the last couple of days so anyway this is the deco art quinacridone magenta back to the homemade modern eggplant that other purple. I want this pretty much about full for this size canvas, so that's why it's the long squeezes. 
And in the past, I kind of um, did, didn't have enough, and then I did another small layer. I'm trying to avoid that this time. This is the um, ultramarine blue, that mix that's going on the purple. I'm trying to keep the sides a bit even. Come on. Thank you. Sorry. I was realizing too when I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to do. I'm like, a lot of my bottles are empty. Okay, so this is the Mysterious. I'm going to put on all four. I love this mysterious. It's so pretty. Oh, I should have showed some dry paintings, but oh well. And then I'm going to go with some of the frosted bubbly in all of them, which I think I'm just going to try to pour down in them. And a little on top. So my trip to Utah was not really a vacation because <laughs> I was with my nephew cooking cleaning and we had a really good time together it was nice to have some one-on-one -on -one time but I wouldn't say it was really relaxing and then I don't know but anyway I'm home now and I'm gonna go with the um, splash and turquoise mix in all of them Plenty of paint again. I wonder if I should do this. This is that moonbeam mix. Eh. I'm just playing. I feel like I was really nervous about recording tonight because I haven't recorded in weeks and you know you get nervous and I want to do a good first painting back, but let's see if I can get lucky with this toothbrush holder again. And like last time, I am going to take my dividers out. purple and magentas pretty pretty but going into the trash huh now that's what my cup looks like I think I'm actually going to do oh you know I got my little tweezers see I'm out of practice I'm out of practice Just use an old skewer. Just gonna give it a maybe a quick little swirl, maybe just there and back. That looks pretty. I use more purples in this one. So now I know last time a lot of you didn't want me to do the white balloon swipe part of it, but I really like the way that web lacing came out, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do it again. Unless it just looks too darn pretty to mess up. Well, pretty to me. And be careful with this. I kind of got it on the sides a bit. And I was doing the OGX. I tell you, I feel like the first time painting again. So I'm a little concerned about it, so I'm going to put a second thing of tape. <laughs> it won't come in there, it is. Around it, just to make sure 
we are secure. Okay, I'm gonna move the oops down. Oh, I have, um, it's a Lazy Susan thing I'll show you that I kind of put together. Mm. So, this is it. And here we go. Design in it. That's real pretty. I'm telling you, I love that mysterious. It's very pretty. All right. Let's see if I can get a silicone mat. Yes. I'll just let that pour over into that. Let's see. Those colors real quick. Oops. All right, enough playing with the camera. <laughs> I like the uh, lighter magenta in this one. So you can see. Um, you know the moonbeam. I'm not going to do the white, but I think the white moonbeam is enough in it. Mm. Let's just see. I also had like a little bottle of white that I was going to maybe kind of in there. And maybe I will just kind of go through certain sections that don't really have a lot of white. Uh, it's kind of a swirl action, so let me just see if I can add some white that way. Let's see how that looks. That oh, looks real pretty. It's like I'm almost afraid to tilt. There's plenty of paint here. And uh, let's just tilt this baby. I really like that mysterious. You guys should really go out and get some. It's by Art Minds. You can find it at Michael's. Such a pretty color. And I really like the the lighter I mix with the Princess Purple with the uh, iridescent medium in it. Oops. And the lighter of the um, magenta, the Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta. Very pretty. Oh. Is that a boogie? Look like something. I expect to find more than one something in here because, like I said, these paints they haven't been being used. Poor things. So let's see. It's all so pretty. I'm worried this white, when I stretch it out, it's going to be um, too much big areas of white. Well, I don't even went over, so let me go ahead and just go over this end. I'm going to bring it back to the middle. There's plenty of paint here.
See, I need to learn to be more conscious of uh, how I tilt. Um, so that certain parts don't look like they're being stretched out. I mean, it's nice in the design sometimes. But let's see. So now I know I don't need to go near top <laughs> of that toothbrush holder if I want to still have enough paint easily to cover my canvas and even less if I'm going to add the white to do the reverse balloon swipe. So let me see. This is very different. Very big cells and little cells. I'm loving this white lacing here. You see that with the red and the purple? It's real pretty. But even those big cells are... Take a moment and torch. I think I see some boogity boos too, so I'm going to try to grab those. I think I'm going to pour some of this off, but I really like this. Move some of that white. All right. Let's see if I still know how to use a torch, huh? I just I did want to make sure it was out of the way since it's standing up now. You notice you don't hear me talk generally when I uh, am uh, using my torch because I'm holding my breath here. <laughs> All right, where did I see? I see something here. I don't know if it's here. Oh, it's just an air bubble. I think we're okay, but. Now I need to still get rid of some of this paint. So, um, I'm not liking this white. And um, when you cup and you have your fingers, you get these rounded ones. So, my paint's all the way over there. Let me go ahead and just kind of pour some of this off. Just that white portion that's kind of funky monkey. I don't like the funky monkeys. Ended up being some really nice colors. You know, I'm going to see if I can tilt off that white a little bit without losing that white. <laughs> can she do it? Nope. 
and I'm just losing too much paint. It's you get a little out of practice when you don't paint for a while, but I'm kind of liking that. Although now that's all stretched out. Monica, Monica, Monica. Sorry, I'm tilting away from you. I know it's really nice this uh, marbling kind of big celled effect we got here. Uh, I guess my time's up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. oh, wish I would have paid more attention. Uh, all right, let me look at this. My sides are over. I don't want to stretch it out too much, but I'm really not happy with that white, but I should have. Stretch that way before. And if I stretch it out, it will uh, give me something better in that white. I think it's going to look better stretched out out there than it is. All right, I got to get rid of this one. I'm just not liking it. I feel like I'm wasting so much paint. But I saved my skins. So. All right, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. It's very nice colors. I like them. Yeah, I let too much go. I don't like it looking so stretched out on that bottom. So see what happens when you take some time off. <laughs> it's okay. Looks fine. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you click the bell next to the subscribe button, it'll notify you when I upload another video. Click like and share. Leave a comment. I love connecting with all of you with the comments. I am connecting with quite a few of you. It's kind of cool. And actually tomorrow I'm going to meet uh, Robin Houston. from. Um, she's a subscriber of mine. And um, uh, she is in California. And it worked out that I get to meet with her tomorrow before she returns. And I'm really excited about that. I hope to meet more of my subscribers and other people who have other channels. I would love to, you know, maybe 
And everyone talks of been doing collabs and stuff, which is a lot of fun. Somehow I can try to do a collab. If any of you are interested, leave a comment. And otherwise, um, I would love to make trips to Florida. Because I know there's a lot of YouTube friends in Florida or somewhere. Or Vegas, meet up in Vegas, huh, LD? Anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I enjoy making these paintings with you and experimenting and having fun. And I'm going to see if I can just bring you down for the close-up. Excuse me, I know it's a lot of moving. I'm going to unzoom. Unzoom, unzoom. There we go. I don't know if it's completely unzoomed yet, but bring it down to show you. It's actually very nice colors. I hope you uh, like it. I think the colors are very uh, marbly, very pretty. But let me know what you think. I apologize for the glare. Remove it a little bit. So, I guess this is just a spin the bottle <laughs> pour. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.